Hi everyone, Chris here from TickTablets.com. Just have the uh, Honda V919 Air 3G dual boot here in front of me. Uh, just having a quick look around at Android on the tablet to see how everything is running. And I can uh, report that there is no problems here with the the Atom Z3736F. I know the same processor on some of the Techlast X9 8Air models was freezing up. I haven't experienced that at all with this tablet. Uh, I've been using it for some time uh, with various games pushing the GPU and there's been no freezes so no issues whatsoever which is good. Uh, it does get quite warm around this area. Obviously the uh, the main motherboard is there because we do have the SIM card and SD card slots here so the motherboard is here and the, the CPU is approximately around this area and that does get quite warm but it's nothing that's going to burn you or anything to concern you. A uh, couple of other things I've noticed that the launcher and yeah, the stock launcher is definitely better than some of the other launchers I've seen. It's uh, reasonably good, quite fast, very little bloat. There is only just a few applications here that I would call bloat. You've got an account center there to have Onda and there really is only just a few applications there that you would probably want to get rid of if once you get root access um, game center is another one so there's really only maybe two two apps or three apps on this ROM at least that need uninstalling everything else is pretty good and it runs quite well there's, um, there's, there's been no issues in Android I found everything's quite smooth it's, it's good there's no problems gaming I'll just show, quickly show you uh, real racing, gaming seems to run fine. When you are gaming, this captive home button here, which it will not touch, can be a bit of a pain because you, if you touch that, of course you go back to home, so you need to reselect the game again. Play Store works, which is good, because uh, often you find with some of these Chinese tablets that the Play Store does not work at all. It's a real hassle could have to fix that and some people do not want to mess around having to root the, the tablet and install Play Store so that's a good thing that it actually does work. And the speaker loudness, I'll just crank the speaker volume right up, whoops. See what happened there as I touched the button. And that was annoying, so I'll just reselect. Close some of these things here, I'm running a lot. Back into the game. We only have the single speaker, although it does look like two speakers here. Um, I have actually learnt from some photos of the interior of the machine, there's only one speaker. That's maximum volume right now. So it's not super loud. So you can see, a quick look at a game there. So the gaming's running fine, there is no lockups as I mentioned before. It's the same with the Unity benchmark, no problems whatsoever. And now the battery life is a little bit disappointing. It's not as good as the Ticklast X98 Air. It uh, seems to really chew through the battery quite quickly when you're gaming of course. That is normal, but the battery size is about 7000 milliamp hours which is about a thousand less than what's on the Ticklast and other tablets would be nice if it was a little bit bigger and Play Store of course as mentioned is working I'll just show you that that it is uh, it's working quite fine there's no problems downloads everything nothing wrong at all with that now the browser that's installed is their Rome by the looks of it or based on just the standard stock Android browser that they have just modified a little bit and it runs quickly and fine 
and everything seems to be relatively smooth there but you'd probably want to install Chrome or another browser because I'm not really 100% sure what this browser version is could just be completely completely uh, made by Onda and it, it, it does the job but I think Chrome is a bit faster and you'll notice when I'm touching the tablet and Android at least the, the LED that's behind the captive home button here comes on all the time good and a bad thing it's not really necessary that it's always shining and now the overall build quality is quite good I would say it's better than the Tecla 698 Air 3G however there is a a slight annoying issue here that you have the the back cover here that you need to pull off to access the micro SD and SIM slots but it also if you have a look here contains the antennas so if you need to change your SIM card or you want to pull out the SD card and swap that over under Android or Windows of course you're going to lose your connectivity there so 3G you will lose your reception and wireless as well so I need to take that into account and it's really quite a flimsy little bit of plastic this it does have these little clips you can see there these clips if the camera will focus correctly there we go that they could eventually end up breaking off or wearing if you're pulling this on and off all the time the quality is a bit could be better oh I would, it's not wonderful so that's the Onda, again just looking a little bit more in detail at Android here. Uh, now you can root this of course, programs like uh, Root360 will work and there's more details of this tablet will be available and a review coming up shortly on techtablets.com so please stop by and have a look. And if you did like this video here, please give me a thumbs up. And do subscribe, I'll have more videos on this tablet and various other Chinese tablets once I can get hold of them. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, bye for now.